Welcome back. Uh, we're going to have a look today at how to drag and drop and explode a PDF into our drawing in order to be able to trace it. Here I've got a PDF that I've created previously in another project and we're just going to use this as a reference for our tutorial videos today just so we're understanding uh, and so just so I don't have to design on the spot a unit or an apartment but we're going to trace this. Now the problem with tracing in Archicad is that if it was a raster or a pixel based drawing, PDF, image, um, JPEG, whatever it would be, I can't really click on it and I can't be assured of its scale. Now we may also have scale issues even when we bring in a PDF so the first thing we need to do is be able to check the scale. If I had dimensions on this page, I would use a dimension. I'd click and measure the dimension to see if it's the scale. If we don't have that, if there is on a title block a drawing scale or a paper scale, that's really useful as well. And or we can also measure existing elements of the building and, and see how big they are. So we're going to measure the inside of this bedroom and we see that this is roughly about 1500 millimeters wide, which is far too small, particularly for an Australian sized bedroom. So what I would need to do is figure out exactly how small it is, if it's to ratio. And when I measure this, we see that it says it should be 10 millimeters, but actually is 500, which means that I'm 50% or 100% too small. I need to make this 200% larger. Now, how do I do that in Archicad? Edit, reshape, resize. This is the method that we're going to use. Now, if I knew that it wasn't to scale, if it was a strange scale, such as 97%, I might need to use the define graphically. And if I have dimensions, I will definitely use that option uh, to get it perfect. Otherwise, if I know that it's to scale, and in this case I do because it was originally created as a PDF, I'll use this ratio. So obviously the drawing is currently at 100% and if I want to make this twice as big I need to make this 200% all these need to be ticked not this one anymore click click and that's going to double the size of this drawing now interestingly I could have avoided that if I first had the scale of my drawing to the right scale so if I have this at 1 to 100 and then I drag and drop this PDF into my file it's actually going to bring it into scale straight away. So it's important to understand the scale of what you're working in, or more importantly, the scale in which uh, the drawing that you're using was created. Now, you might not always know that answer, but hopefully if you're doing this repetitively, you can make the most of that. Now, we've brought this in, and it is to scale, but we can't still trace it really well because we can't really click on anything. So we could guess, we could zoom in and say, I think this is the corner. But we're not going to do that really well. So what we want to do is to be able to explode this into 2D to turn it from a single image into vectors. Edit, reshape, explode into current view. What are vectors? Vectors are lines. Vectors are these point-to-point -point pieces of information which allow us to be able to not just see but also be able to click on. Now when I did that, I raced through that a bit too fast. Edit. Uh, edit, reshape, explode into current view. Now with this option, uh, I also chose to keep the original elements after exploding, which means I'll have all my vector lines plus the original PDF, and I'm not too concerned about what layers or lines that this turns into, because I'm only going to use it for tracing purposes. Now I'm going to select all of this, so a two-point selection. Uh, you, you'll find that when you do explode a complicated drawing, it's going to slow down your file. So be very careful with this, and you might want to delete unnecessary information once you've done this. I'm going to select it all. Command X or Edit Cut. Definitely slowing down. And then place this up on the roof story. Why do I want to place it on the roof story? Just because I want to trace it. Now, I could put it anywhere. Uh, it might be even better to put this in a worksheet or something like that so it's not connected to my file. Uh, I'm not too concerned at the moment. I'm going to delete it quite soon after I've done this process. So for now, this will be fine. And on back on the first floor, double-click, 
If that wasn't visible, what I'd need to do is right click on the roof story and say show as trace reference. And that's going to show what we've got above and we see that it's yellow or a creamy color. Why is that? If we go into our trace reference down the bottom, we can change the reference to original color or we can choose a color, let's make it blue, to trace over. And so the advantage of having the trace reference or the ghost image as a different color is it means it's just easier for us to see what we're drawing so that the original work and the new work don't become confused or complicated. Now, we're not going to just trace this with lines. The intention of tracing this in ARCHICAD is that we'll be using our 3D BIM tools. So in the next video, we'll have, be looking at how to do that, how to start to create our 3D BIM model using the ARCHICAD design tools.